that word attitude carries a lot of weight for modern people. What is one's attitude? A man can walk from here to there and do something, and another man can walk from here to there and do exactly the same thing. And the two of them have different attitudes or different values in back of it. And it makes a whole difference whether he earns the grail castle or misses it. It isn't so much what you do, it's the attitude with which one does it. That is, that old-fashioned, archaic question, whom does the grail serve? Is it for me? How much money in the bank for me? Or does it serve the life process and our whole cultural or racial place in the world? If you ask any man on the street what he lives for, or what is the meaning of life, or whom does the grail serve, that would be old-fashioned language for us. Of course, he would answer, it's for me. What's in it for me? There's the psychology of virtually every modern man that the grail serves the ego. It's for me. What's in it for me? And the real answer, if you're in the grail can castle, is that the grail serves God. The grail serves the grail king. It serves that which is greater than I. It's that moment, or it's that transition, or it's that evolution which makes a man fit to stay in the Grail Castle for the rest of his life then. That's an enormous point of evolution when Parsifal asks the question. Remember, he had only to ask it. He didn't have to be wise enough to answer it. Only ask it. And it was said that the answer went reverberating through the whole Grail Castle then. I take an enormous encouragement from the fact that I have only to formulate the question. I don't have to be smart enough to answer it. To ask a real question is to be very close to its answer. It was said that when a patient came to Dr. Jung, of course, asked some earth-shaking question which he had come to the analysis for, and Dr. Jung would say, I have the foggiest idea we must look at your dreams. Dr. Jung didn't have the answer. The ego doesn't have the answer. But there is an answer. Go to the Grail Castle. I think the Grail Castle is another word for the place of imagination or the place of dreams. Remember, this goes on every night of your life. The Grail Castle procession goes on every night of one's life in one's dreams. It said in the story that the grail, the cup, glowed with its own light and filled the whole room with a soft kind of light. I'm fascinated with the symbol of light, two kinds of light, uh, masculine light, which is sunlight, that clear, straight, penetrating, discriminating, enlightening quality, which masculine light is and a much softer feminine light, the lumina natura, as the alchemist called it. Light from an oil lamp gives that soft lumina natura quality, which is very feminine. It's still light and it still shows. It still gives the faculty of sight, but it does so in a feminine way, more like the moon than like the sun. And it is that kind of soft, feminine light, sometimes associated with the goddess Sophia, which fills the room that night. 